We're in Essen, but not for the spiel. It's the verge of the 20th century and you own a budding coal company, but you are gonna need to expand your tunnels and diversify your resources if you wanna become a true Coal Baron, which was designed by Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling and published by Eggerspiel. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph. We're here with Board Game Geek and today's In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek Store. Well, I've got a shovel and an order form, so let's get this game down to the table to go in focus on Coal Baron. Coal Baron is a worker placement coal delivery game where players will be building tunnels along their mine shaft, hauling coal and fulfilling orders. Each player will get hexagonal workers and their own mine to dig for coal. The game will take place over three rounds called shifts and scoring will happen at the end of every shift. On their turn, a player will choose a spot on the main board and place their worker and carry out the action. If there are already workers on that space, a player may still go there. They will remove the workers on that space to the canteen, and then they will place the same amount of workers on that space plus one and take the action. So in this game, no space is ever truly blocked. Cool, but if we're gonna be a coal baron, we're gonna need some coal. To get some coal, we need some mine carts. The player places their worker on a mine cart space and pays for the coal. Each yellow mine cart costs one mark, brown costs two, gray costs three, and black costs four. The mine cart will then get added to their tunnel in the correct level and on the left side if it has lights and on the right side if it is dark. Then they will add one coal for each mine cart on the tile. A player may also go mining and each space will allow the player to do a certain amount of work steps. Each work step will allow the player to either move their pit cage to the desired level, move coal onto the pit cage, or drop off coal onto orders at the top level. A player may also get new orders by placing their worker in the new order space. These will ask for different coal types and quantities and will award points for completing them. Speaking of completing orders, when a player has an order full with the required coal, they can go to the delivery spaces to deliver them. Which space they choose depends on the mode of transportation at the bottom of the order forms either barrow, carriage, truck, or train. Once a player chooses a mode of transportation, they will then deliver all completed orders with that mode of transport. And lastly, a player may go to the money space to get varying amounts of marks, or they may always go to the bank to get one mark for each worker sent there. Play will continue until all players have used their workers, and then the shift will end and players will score. What scores depends on the shift. For the first shift, coal majority score. Players will look at all of their delivered orders and the player with the most delivered yellow coal will get two victory points and second place will get one. Then the other three types of coal score for more and more points. If it's the end of the second shift, coal majorities will score again along with vehicle majorities. On delivered orders, the player with the most barrow deliveries gets six points with second place getting three. Then the other vehicles score. And the end of the third shift adds empty minecart scoring as well. The player with the most empty yellow coal mine carts gets 10 points with second place getting five and you know how this works by now. Once scoring for the third shift is done, the game is over and the end game scoring begins. Every five marks and every three coal left over both score one point. Any unfinished orders are negative one point and players need to have a safe and balanced tunnel so players will count how many tunnel tiles are on either side of their mine shaft and will lose two points for every tile in balance. Players tally up their scores and the player with the most points will win. Coal Baron is an interesting mix between openness while still creating a lot of tension. No spots on the board are ever blocked, so that's really cool and open, but there's still a race to get to those spots because if you don't get there first, you're gonna pay more and more and more workers. And you can get as much coal as you want with those different mine carts, but if your tunnel isn't safe and balanced, you're gonna pay a lot of points at the end of the game. And if this kind of puzzle seems like something you may enjoy, make sure to check out Cole Baron's page on BoardGameGeek.com and check out a review. And if you wanna upgrade your next game night, make sure to check out the Board Game Geek store. Well, until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. We're here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Cole Baron. Have a great day.